assassination of Reinhard Heydrich. On the 27th of May 1942 in Prague, Reinhard Heydrich, the commander of the Reich Security Main Office, acting governor of the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, and a principal architect of Holocaust, was attacked and wounded in an assassination attempt by Czechoslovak resistance operatives Josef Gopczyk and Jan Kovacs. Heydrich died of these wounds on the 4th of June 1942. The assassination codenamed Operation Anthropoid was carried out by soldiers of the Czechoslovak army after preparation and training by British Special Operation Executive and with the approval of the Czechoslovak government in exile. Led by Edward Benes, the Czechoslovaks undertook the operation to help confer legitimacy on the government in exile and to exact retribution for Heydrich's brutal rule. The operation was the only verified government sponsored assassination of a senior Nazi leader during the Second World War. Heydrich's death led to a wave of reprisals by SS troops, including the destruction of villages and mass killings of civilians. Multiple memorials have been created in different nations, such as in the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and in the United Kingdom, as a result of both the assassination and its aftermath. In addition, the events have been featured in several well-known dramatic films. Reinhard Heydrich has been the chief of the Reichmann Security Office since September 1939 and was appointed acting protector of Bohemia and Moravia. Heydrich came to Prague to strengthen policy, carry out countermeasures against resistance, and keep a production of Czech mothers and arms that were extremely important to the German war effort. During his role as a dictator of Bohemia and Moravia, Heydrich often drove with his chauffeur in a car with an open roof. This was a show of his confidence in the occupation forces and in the effectiveness of his government. Due to his brutal efficiency, Heydrich was nicknamed the Butcher of Perak, the Blown Beast, and the Hangman. By late 1941, Germany under Hitler control, almost all of the continental Europe and German forces were approaching Moscow. The Allies deemed Soviet capitulation likely. The exiled government of Czechoslovakia under President Edward Benes was under pressure from British intelligence as there had been very little visible resistance since the occupation of the country in 1938. The takeover of these regions was accepted by the United Kingdom and France in the Munich Agreement. Occupation of the whole country had begun in 1939. The German invasion of the Soviet Union had a simulated act of sabotage by Czech communists leading to Heydrich's appointment. Resistance movements were active from the very beginning of occupation in several other countries defeated in open warfare, but the subjugated Czech lands remained calm and produced significant amounts of material for Nazi Germany. The exiled government had to do something that would inspire the Czechoslovaks as well as show the war that the Czechs and the Slovaks were allies. Heydrich was chosen. The operation was initiated by Frantisek Moraves, head of the Czechoslovak intelligence services, with the knowledge and approval of Benes. Almost as soon as Heydrich was appointed protector, preparation began on the 20th of October 1941. Moraves has personally selected two dozen of most personnel from among the 2,000 exiled Czechoslovak soldiers based in Britain. Gapsik and Kobes with seven other soldiers from Czechoslovak's army in exile in the United Kingdom in two other groups named Silver A and Silver B were flown by Halifax. Gapsik and Kobes planned to kill Heydrich. At 10.30 and the 27th of May 1942, Heydrich started his daily commute from his home. He was driven by SS officer Klein. Gapsik and Kobes waited at the tram stop at the junction. The curve forced Heydrich's car to slow down as it turned westwards. Heydrich's green, open-topped Mercedes reached the curve as it slowed down and rounded the corner. Gabzik, who concealed his thin submachine gun under a raincoat, dropped the raincoat and raised the gun to try to shoot Heydrich, but the gun jammed. As the Mercedes broke in front of him, Kobes threw an anti-tank grenade at the car. He misjudged the throw. And instead of landing inside the Mercedes, it landed against the rear wheel. The bomb severely wounded Heydrich when it detonated, its fragments ripping through the right rear fender and embedding fragmentation from the upholstery of the car into Heydrich with major damage to his diaphragm, spilling, and lung. 
At this point, Gobzik and Kubis did not know that Heydrich was wounded and thought the attack had failed. Heydrich was transferred to the hospital and taken to the emergency room. After surgery, Heydrich's condition appeared to be improving. Until while sitting up eating a meal on the 3rd of June, he suddenly collapsed and went into a shock. He soon slipped into a deep coma and never regained consciousness. Dying on the 4th of June, around 4.30, Hitler ordered an investigation and reprisal on the day of the assassination attempt. 5,000 people were murdered in the reprisal. More than 1,300 people were arrested. Nazi intelligence also linked Heydrich's assassins to the village of Lides. A Gestapo report suggested Lides was the hiding place of the assassins. On the 9th of June 1942, the Germans committed the Lides massacre. 199 men were killed, 195 women were deported to concentration camp and 95 children taken prisoners. The Czech village of Lezeki was also destroyed because a radio transmitter belonging to the Silver A team was found there. The men and women of Lezeki were murdered. The assailants hide with two Prague families and later took refuge in the Cathedral of St. Cyril and Methodius, the Cathedral of the Czech and Slovak Orthodox Church in Prague. After some investigations, the Germans found hideout of the assailants. Waffen-SS troops laid siege to the church, but they were unable to take the assailants alive. They killed themselves in the crypt after repeated SS attacks with tear gas and fire brigade trucks. Two large funeral ceremonies were held for Heydrich as one of the most important Nazi leaders. First in Prague, where the way to Prague castle was lined by thousands of SS men, and then in Berlin, attended by all high-ranking Nazi figures. Hitler attended the Berlin ceremony and placed the German Order and Blood Order medal. The soldiers of Operation Anthropoid their helpers and the operation itself were memorialized in the Czech Republic and abroad. The oldest memorial is a plaque on Orthodox Cathedral of St. Cyril and Methodius. It was created in 1947 and is dedicated to the paratroopers, the clergymen and other Czech patriots who died for the sake of the operation. The National Memorial to the Heroes of the Heydrick Terror was created beneath the Cathedral of St. Cyril and Methodius in 1995. The Slovak National Museum opened an exhibition in 2007 to commemorate the heroes of the Czech and Slovak resistance. One of the most important resistance actions in the world of the German occupied Europe. Also a memorial has been placed in RSA, Scotland, to the Czechoslovakian members who terrain in that area with a list of those killed and the missions in which they took part.